Trading is all about being perfect. Let's talk about it. So today we are going to be talking about how you don't need to be perfect to be able to win in trading. So this is something I get all the time. People always trying to catch the perfect entry. People thinking that perfection is needed to become a successful trader. And guys, that's always something that I've never ever claimed to be. I'm not perfect. I take losses. I know on Instagram, it might look like you're always winning because you're basically posting your wins all the time and not necessarily talking about all your losses all the time. But let me be the person to tell you guys that you will experience losses as part of the game as part of the learning process don't ever think that i don't take losses i do take losses i do like to give people the whole story the ultimate goal is are you up you might lose a few trades and then that one trade might be the trade that pulls you over the line and don't be afraid or don't be taken back when you've taken a loss or taken a few losses under your belt guys it's just part of the game what i'm going to do right now is i'm going to show you guys how i took a loss today and how i bounced back today when i lose i only lose one percent i'm at peace losing than one percent per trade and when i do win the wins are a lot larger can you take small losses in order to make those big gains i'm not talking about you're going to start trading and start blowing you know the roof off of your trading i'm not talking about trying to double or triple your account and like just like that i'm talking about your win will far outweigh your losses i'm going to show you what i was looking at with gold today i'm going to show you guys how it's not about being perfect i do have a bit of a sore throat so i might not sound the same okay i might not sound the same i'm bullish on gold you guys know i'm very bullish on gold and look this could be any pair so monday's price action is here i'm not too concerned about that that's not what this video is about but we're talking about today tuesday how do you know where to enter on an institutional candle so what i did is i identified a down close candle here how do you know when to enter near, near about the top of the institutional candle and how do you know when to enter near about 50 percent of that institutional candle my simple answer to that question is i enter on both it just happened to be so that this institutional candle was a pretty large one it's about 100 pips i believe it's about 100 pips and so it's very large and so i play a large institutional candle a different way when it's a one minute institutional candle then you can enter near about the high and have a stop plus near the low that's the safest place to play it but when it's a pretty large one like this this is what i'm going to do i'm going to be looking to enter near about the high when it's near about the high i enter and if that plays me, if that stops me out, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to be entering near about 50% of an institutional candle, especially once I get a reversal sign. And that's what I'm going to show you guys now. So Tuesday's price action, we open up in Asia, we begin to drop in London, and we drop into our down close candle or institutional candle. And so this is the very first time I'm looking to get active. Now about to high and open-ish, this is where I'm looking to get active. And so I actually ended up jumping in here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to just mark up this line here here real quick that's the here and then i'm going to go to the lower time frame show you guys what's going on now we're in a one minute time frame price has dropped into this area here this is where i'm expecting mitigation to take place and i always like to get into a mitigation and so you can see right here this is that very open of that down close candle i'm looking to get in on that trade here instantly and as you guys can see look what happens it pushes up just a little bit and then it drops again and is at this point here is when i took a loss on this trade i take a loss here a minus one percent but i do not get emotional i stick to my kind of trading style and my kind of trading style says that if i get stopped out near about the open and the high of this down close candle or institutional candle what i'm going to do is i'm going to look about getting into a trade near about 50 percent now i'm in a 50 minute time frame i'm going to mark up 50 percent of this area here so you guys know where we are i'm going to put it right here go back to the moment time frame to show you guys what's going on this is me then going for my second attempt at this trade now price drops to near about 50 percent gives us relative equal lows here and so technically you know they're going to run out less liquidity 50 percent is right here but you don't get any kind of reversal signs here price drops creates another set of relative equal lows so you know price wants to continue let me just mark up these equal lows so you know price wants to continue to drop so in other words the trade isn't ready yet before we continue with the video make sure you hit that subscribe button let's try and get this channel to 50,000 subscribers and don't forget to hit the like button if you can get 100 likes i know you guys are kicking with the video and before i go i am dropping a 50 percent off discount on all mentorship and courses use discount code tttm at checkout for 50 percent off more information will be in the description let's go and so this is exactly how I'll play a larger institutional candle. This is exactly how I'll play it. If it was smaller, like I said, well, you're going to see what happens when it's smaller. But yeah, once again, here, equal lows. And we have another set of equal lows here. So you know price isn't ready to turn around yet. Then we see price run a low again. This low right here. Let's mark that up too so you guys can see it. Runs through this low, runs that money. Then it trades through this high. Once it trades through that high, 
Now we have another down close candle or institutional candle. So when price retraces back down into where? Into this area of inefficiency, or it could just be into the down close candle. When you see price coming back into this area where mitigation is most likely to take place, this is where I'm looking to enter. I'm looking to enter during this imbalance fill or during this mitigation play. And um, I didn't catch it on trading view. It is on my MT4. I will post it at the end of this video and I will also post it on Instagram too. Let's just look at this institutional candle. I know we'll be looking at the larger time frame one. This is my where my entry is, by the way. I enter right in here when there's mitigation taking place and I'm holding that trade and expecting price to continue to push for the rest of the day, at least for the rest of the day. But um, I would really want 2050 and 2075. But those are swing trades and how I'm going to play those is I'm going to take partials on the trade and let the rest run. And if it gets stopped out, it gets stopped out. But let's just look at this institutional candle right here. Look at this play here. This is our institutional candle right here now. So what I'm doing now is look at this now on gold we just saw the 50 minute institutional candle was about 100 pips this institutional candle is about 17 pips so this is more likely this is something that you could be trading you can either enter near about the high you can and put your stop loss at 50 percent or you can put your entry at near about 50 percent and put your stop loss beneath the slope so i enter here this is my institutional candle and once again you can enter both ways whichever one you want just know that if you're waiting for 50 percent of these institutional candle to be hit sometimes it's not going to be here and so you risk the chance of missing out on some trades just because of that when price gets above these highs and starts cleaning up this inefficiency this is where i'm taking partials you guys know i trade towards the money there's money here yes there's money here i don't need to wait for that i don't need to wait for price to get all the way up here but my partials can do that work my main position was closed when price is cleaning up this inefficiency above these highs this is how i was able to bounce back from that loss what some people would have done is this they would have jumped in and jumped in and jumped in and jumped in and got stopped out so much that eventually when price gets going now they've missed the trade and now they're super ticked off they're super in their feelings they, they are in their feelings right there and so that's what you don't want to do you don't want to be that person that constantly jumps and jumps and jumps in uh, you know just because you've been stopped out you're jumping again wait for price to give you the signs that it wants to go higher here I got stopped out. My mentees know this is where I got stopped out. But then I told them I'm looking to get active around 50%. You just have to be a bit more patient and wait for price to show you the signs it wants to start heading back up to the upside. And so this is an example of I wasn't perfect. I wasn't perfect. I didn't expect to be perfect. Never claimed to be perfect. You're going to be taking losses. As long as you're able to implement your trading plan and navigate that, that's what's really going to save you from blowing your account. And then just the final thing is just to show you guys how I kind of handled this. If I take a loss here, and I take a loss of 50%, then basically I'm gonna stop, I'm, I'm done, I'm done, that's it. And just for those wondering where I'm looking to take TP, I already mentioned it, but I'm looking to take further trades and future trades as well, is I'm looking to run it up to 2048, so the liquidity most likely will be at 2050, and then above that 2075.